Hi there! Today I will show you how to make the perfect chicken stir fry. First of all, we have to put oil in the pan. I'm using toasted sesame oil, which brings out lots of flavor. So the oil is heating up now. The next thing what I have to do, I have to add onions. So I'm adding here one onion, which is roughly cut. You can cut any anyway, I always dice it. So just stir it. Don't keep it on a very low, uh, very high heat, just medium heat. And now I'll add garlic. I'm adding two cloves of garlic, which I'm going to press. Just use the garlic press. You can see it comes out really, really nicely. And another one goes in. So just fry the onion first and then we'll add chicken. Chicken, I already pre-cut in very small pieces. When you add the chicken, make sure the chicken cooks properly, cooks absolutely fully before you add the rest of the ingredients. And very good tip here, when I cut chicken, I, I don't use chopping board, I use scissors to just cut it straight into the box and then I will put the scissors into the sink and disinfect them and leave them to disinfect with antibacterial spray for quite a few minutes, maybe even five minutes before I even touch them. So the chicken goes in now. The reason why I do this way because I avoid any bacteria of spreading. And as you know, with chicken, you have to make sure you always cook it properly. And now it's time for five spice. So I'm using Chinese five spice to bring out the flavor. And again, just stir it. And now just let it cook until chicken cooks properly. I put a little bit more. That should be more than enough. Just keep stirring. You can put the heat slightly higher up. And the chicken can't be pink at all, it has to be cooked thoroughly. You can see now that the chicken is cooked properly because when I cooked it in the pan, the biggest piece is, is not a pink inside at all. So basically this means that we can add the next ingredients. The next ingredient I'm adding is peppers and mushrooms because that takes slightly longer to cook. All goes in and again make sure you stir it and keep turning, keep tossing until the vegetables become slightly softer. After a few minutes you will notice that the peppers are becoming slightly softer and now is the time to add different veg. I usually use pre-packed batch and you can get different flavors this one is just vegetable stir fry sometimes you might get a mushroom stir fry but I usually add mushrooms myself that's why I always buy this one so this goes all in lots of veg and again just stir it and as the veg is getting going to be cooked it's going to reduce in size because the steam will make it shrink and today is Friday actually, so I could easily go to the shop and take a takeaway. But why? why? Why should I do that? It's so easy to make stir fry, it's so much more healthier because you get lots of veg and it's cheaper as well. So this will last me for my dinner today and also for some lunch tomorrow. You can see that the veggies are shrinking now. They take only 3 minutes to cook. I'm going to add um, a little bit of soya sauce and I'm using reduced salt because I tend to not to use any salt in my cooking so if I can avoid it, I will 
because soap is not very good for you. If I can open it actually. Oh, that's a bit tough. <laughs> oh, there you go. I just managed to open this. A little bit of soya sauce. And if you like a little bit of spice, you can always add some chilies, grind some chilies. So you can see how nice and colorful it looks. And now it's the time to add noodles. I'm using Singapore noodles, which is a mild flavor, mild curry flavor. I bought them from Tesco. Uh, however, you can get them from most of supermarkets. Um, I know they like, uh, last week when I made stir fry, I used one from Asda and they were very, very spicy. So when you use from Asda, I think they're called chili uh, noodles. Uh, make sure you don't add any more spice to it unless you like hot food. For me, it was likely too spicy. So just stir it. You see, I'm adding in portions so it just cooks more evenly. I love stir fries. It's very easy dinner to do. It's so quick, especially after work. When you finish work, you don't want to spend ages in the kitchen. Um, and stir fry is just so easy and so good, so healthy. Oop, by the way. There you go. And again, this takes approximately three minutes. And it's, in this stage, I'm going to add the sauce at the same time. And today I'm using a plum and hoisin sauce, which is nice and sweet flavor. I'll use the scissors actually to cut it. My hands like this slippy right now. So again, with the sauce, pull it all around and then just stir it and remember to use on very very low heat you don't want this to, to fry too quickly oh it looks delicious doesn't it and it smells good as well so I found this sauce and also sweet chili sauce are my favorite what's yours? so like I said today I'm using the chicken however um, you can use different meat. I used turkey before, however with turkey what I found is slightly dry. So when you cut turkey, make sure you cut it in the smaller pieces and don't uh, over stir fry it. Uh, you can also use different meat like pork or strips of nice lean beef or even prawns if you like seafood. So you see it doesn't take long whatsoever. And do you like my recipe? Do you like what I'm doing? So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, like it. Just press the button. And comment on it. And tell me, how do you like your stir fries? What do you add to it? Maybe I can learn something new from you. Because we're learning every single day. There you go. Beautiful stir fry. With chicken and lots of veggies. Lots of greens. There's more than five a day here. So like I said, make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you like it. And have a lovely evening, everyone.